Hi, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of two different Anchor open source products. Uh, one of them is called SIFT and it generates a software bill of materials or an SBOM. Um, that'll help you comply with the Executive Order 14028 uh, as well as just keep track of your software supply chain. Um, you know, what basically a list of all the ingredients in, say, a container image. Um, that's what the SBOM is. And then another tool we're going to look at is another open source one by Anchor called Gripe. And that can either consume SBOMs or actually just look directly at images, uh, container images, and match up vulnerable components, the components that have a CVE or a known vulnerability um, to list out things that you should be upgrading and things where you may be vulnerable. So let's go ahead and get started. I run both of these as container images. Um, so I can do a docker pull anchor sift and it'll pull the latest. I already had it and anchor gripe. Um, you see it gets it both updated. Now I actually have wrapper scripts around uh, some simple code to um, do the command the way it's supposed to be done so I don't have to remember this, the syntax for the docker run. Um, in the case of gripe, there's a, a named repository I want or a named volume I want to give it so it caches the vulnerability data downloads. But um, in any case, it's fairly straightforward to run. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, clear this and let's just do a sift command. I'm going to go ahead and Give it a fairly long command on an old vulnerable um, image I happen to have sitting around. And you'll see you go ahead and run it. And it's going to spit this out to the hello world JSON uh, file. It's just going to pull this down. Take a few seconds to run. And when that's done, there's not a whole lot for us to look at it. The SBOM, in this case, the format of the SBOM is the SIFT format, uh, which gives the most information it can to um, to gripe, um, but we can take a look at it. If I do a less on hello world, Jason, you can see it's just a long file there. Right, not much to see. If you could, even if you could parse, um, it's too long to be of much value. But we could cat that and. Pipe it to JQ if we wanted to, right? So anyway, um, let's go ahead and take that though, and let's pass that off to Gripe. So if I go Gripe, S bomb, hello world, oops, hello world dot JSON, that will pass that S bomb to Gripe. And it will go ahead and consume that, look at all those components, match them up with the vulnerability database, and see what components on that image are known to be vulnerable. Again, it'll take a few seconds to run. And let's see when that gets done. And it should be coming back any second now. Like I said, it's consuming the SBOM in this case happened to be in SIFT format. Um, and we can see it comes back with the name of the component, what version is installed, if it knows that there's a version uh, that's fixed. So in this case, we upgraded Jackson data bind from 2.13.3 on this system to 2.13.4 or 2.13.4.1. We would fix these particular vulnerabilities, right? We could do a Google search on these to find them on the web to see what the problem actually is. These are errors in Java, in Java on that image. These are vulnerabilities in the Debian, right? Some more Java issues, right? It's just all alphabetized, spits out in a table format with the severity, like I said, the CVE and the other information. So all very easy. Uh, we could also have just passed the name of the, uh, of the, um, of the image directly to gripe. We don't have to generate an SBOM and it will internally do the same thing, right? It will actually spit back the same same data uh, by, since they're both by Anchor, they do the same type of internal work to generate the 
bill of materials even though it doesn't output it as a file. The nice thing about having this as a file is you could feed this to some other tool, say OWASP dependency track, to track your SBOMs so that you could uh, get constant updates every time there's a new finding. Um, so anyway, that's one thing to do. The other thing you can do with, uh, with SIFT, let's go ahead and clear this, is um, I generated in the JSON format but I could do this in a different format called DX, or Cyclone DX. Um, and let's do it as a Cyclone DX JSON. And this might be consumable by a few more types of tools. It doesn't have all the same information that the SIFT format has, but Cyclone DX is becoming a popular standard for SBOM. So other tools, like I said, like uh, OWASP Dependency Track, uh, could consume this and, um, and and manage it for you. So uh, you can generate Cyclone uh, DX format SBOMs with that. And again, there's not much to see here. It's just a big long JSON file, but in Cyclone DX BOM format. I hope that was helpful.